everybody, it's Pixie again. Welcome. What's up? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you happen to be watching this, I am actually using my new camera. So hopefully it goes well. Excuse me if I keep looking over here, because that's the pop-out screen. I'm still getting used to it, but... Anyway, this is going to be probably one of my last hauls for a while because I want to put this stuff away. I've been collecting it for a couple months so I can show you. I can actually record longer. Yay! I won't feel so rushed. Lighting's good, I think. Because I want to be able to put this stuff away so I can actually give you a closet tour and start doing more fashion stuff. I want to talk about a lot of, a lot of things. I have so many ideas. I have a whole list in my notebooks. I don't really journal, but I like making lists. That was like a random fur. Cats aren't even allowed in here. I don't know why there's fur. In case anybody's wondering about my makeup tonight, I am wearing this lipstick. Oh, let's see if you can focus, new camera. Do your job. It's by Princessa. Princessa. It's a creamy matte pink, and it's called Bombshell. Mm, so pretty. Mm. And I kind of got away from the highlighter I've been using because, you know, I need to branch out and actually use the make other makeup I have. So the BYS one is still in my purse, still want to go to it, but I got this. It's a Paris Hilton Urban kit. So it has a lot of warm tones. Hopefully the brushes don't fall out because I've already used it. These are the highlighters. Please don't fall out brushes. The bottom highlighters and then the eyeshadows and it came with this awesome brush so you can see my highlight. It's really bright and that's not just the ring lights like when I'm looking in regular light no tips. anyway Athena is another hush product but I think you can find this probably on Amazon if you google it but this is the desert rose something by Huda dupe I hate the word dupe if you've ever watched any of my former videos anyway moving on for makeup let's do this let's get to the good stuff let's get to the good stuff um I've always been wanting one of these skirts I, I can't help it. I love feathers. Gucci, years and years and years ago, when I was like in middle school, I collected Gucci magazine pullouts. I got Vogue and Glamour and all those. Glamour? Was that one of them? I don't know. Fashion magazines. Anyway, but Gucci loved their feathers. And one of the big 90s ones I remember was they had these torn up jeans with ostrich feathers. And I'm totally against like animal cruelty and all that stuff. But, you know, falling in love with your first real high-end brand. I got a feather skirt from Amazon. And you can kind of tell in the light they're oil slick feathers. And this is by I feel like just like Show Story, it was supposed to be Choices. Like Shoe Story, Show Story. Um, but it's called Choys. There you go. You can almost focus. Okay, let's get used to this camera. And I just googled, or Amazon Amazon, Amazon searched feather skirt, and I found this. And they have different colors too. There's like a rainbow one. Surprisingly, I didn't buy the rainbow one. I like this one. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I'm sure with my previous videos and you seeing how many boots I have, nobody's gonna care. They're gonna be like, oh, that's pixie. Whatever. Eh, okay. But yeah, uh, if you want this, it is actually in Chinese sizes, I believe. So I ordered a medium, but it has the elastic skirt. So. Either way, it's probably going to fit. I will probably do some kind of outfit, crazy outfit for date night or Disney or something. It would actually be good, like, Maleficent Disney bound because, you know, she does the crow thing and dragon. Yeah, maybe feathers. Um, Maleficent bow. We'll see. Anyway, moving on. Everybody knows I love my bows. So I got these from Bell's Outlet. They were $2.99 for three, and they're very glittery and rainbowy. I love them. Yes, they are very pretty. So, um, They are the clips. So if you have a Bell's Outlet or anything like that, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, always check the little girl section for very rainbowy, glittery, ravery type things. I got another bow. Jojo Siwa? Is that a Teen and Bopper show? Because it says Nickelodeon at the top. And it says $10, but they were actually $4.99. But because it has this hair stretchy thing. I always use the little skinny ones for my hair because my hair tingles easily, so I'm going to cut this off and put it on a clip, but it's very Little Mermaid-ish. 
So if you have a Bell's Outlet, check them out. Always check out the little girl section. This is where I get a lot of my backpacks and rainbow stuff because, you know, cheerleading, I guess. Um, I also got these tiaras. These were $2.99 also from Bell's Outlet. They're kind of mirrored, so I hope it's not backwards. Um, yeah, so there's three of them. There's like a rose goldish one, pink, and this white silver one. I think these would be good for a Disney bound. Let's just put them all on together. So you could do like Cinderella or Rapunzel or just wear them out for the hell of it because that's what I do. People are like, why are you wearing a tiara? I'm like, because I can. Because I'm pixie. So moving on, I also got this. They are not Disney, but they look like it. They look like they could be because they're actually round like a mouse ear type. They're not cat ears. And I love this tinsley bit. They remind me of fireworks. So, and $2.99 at Bell's Outlet again. But you can find this kind of stuff everywhere if you like girly, pretty, shiny rainbow things. Um, if we were to go to Disney on 4th of July, I would totally rock these. I'm looking in the mirror, like admiring them. I love them. But if you do, be warned. Go to Disney on 4th of July. Be prepared. We went either last year or the year before, and there was a four hour mono monorail. I have words. Monorail wait after the fireworks because everybody had the same idea. Oh, 4th of July, Disney fireworks are going to be amazing. They were great, but we were in the middle of Magic Kingdom and we had to walk all the way to the monorail. And even if you took the resort monorail or the ferry, everything was backed up and we were just like, uh, never again. But they did put up a spectacular display, you know, like it was great. It was worth it. But if you don't have the patience for monorails and it's hot and there's people everywhere, you are going to wait to get on the monorail and the entire parking lot is just backed up. But Disney's worth it. I always say it's Disney and worth it. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Moving along. This is a house thing. I don't think anybody cares, but I got a new Pyrex. I bought one for me and mom. The thing about this one is it's special edition color. I bought it for mom on Mother's Day and I bought it for myself on Mother's Day. But Pyrex is usually shorter and stouter and they're usually in red or clear and this is a limited edition color i love it it's if anybody cares again it's one liter or four cups and because i make pickles and i cook a lot i can always appreciate a good pyrex so look for these on amazon they were not that expensive i believe they were maybe 12.99 maybe the price has changed i haven't looked in a while but yeah i do appreciate a good measuring cup and i'm sure other people out there do because house stuff is just amazing and there's that i'll talk about my pickles in a later video because that's a whole other story and the time has come the weller said she's hot in her studio i don't think it's the lights i think it's just the way my husband has the air conditioning going i think he closes vents without telling me speaking of kitchen stuff I actually have the box here next to me on another stool so I don't have to bend down every time like every other video. I got a kitchen scale and it's really surprisingly small and I was like really, say really one more time Sarah, go ahead, to weigh out said pickles or maybe make sure everything is even but this got great reviews. It's just this tiny digital scale. It's so paper thin. I haven't even pulled the tab on the back yet, but it's, it got the best reviews. It's called Nourish. 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 <laughs> and what's really neat about it is it donates to a greater cause when you buy their products. So I really appreciate that. I didn't even know that when I bought it, but anything that's cruelty free or goes to a better cause, it says, congratulations, you made the world a little better today, and it's for the Global Orphan Project. So if you want these, I'll put the link down below. There's a code. I'm not sponsored, by the way, but it does say greatergoods.com slash backslash 0480. So maybe that's a code. Maybe that's just telling you where to get the scale, but it does go to a bigger cause, and that's always a bonus when you buy stuff off Amazon, because you do have the option on Amazon to like donate to a cause when you buy stuff from them. So I try to do that when I have the option, but it's nice to know that when you buy a product off Amazon, yada, 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 shut up, Sarah. But yeah, it's, it's nice to know that something's given back to the community and it's, I think it feeds, let me read it again. Cause I just kind of skimmed over it. Um, love one, four, six and the global, global orphan project uses contributions to help children all around the world vis visit greater goods. The website I just mentioned, I'll put in the description down below 
to learn more. So it's really nice that I'm going to keep the box because it's just beautiful and I got goosebumps because I know I'm like putting back, like, you know, pay it forward, that kind of thing. Putting back into the world, good karma, all those things. And this is kind of like a throwback because I didn't talk about this in my last videos, but I did Google rainbow purse. So I got this and it's actually an Amazon per or Amazon Avon purse and it's totally vintage. I think this was, it says Avon color works on the inside on the tag. If I can just work with me here, it can barely focus, but so mom used to sell for Avon and she doesn't not remember this line, but I think if you bought so much from Avon, you would get this free bag and a slice of canvas. It's sturdy. It has a little strap, of course, because it's rainbow. I love it. Anyway, um, but it's good for Disney. You know, like if it rains, I can just carry a little purse. If I don't want to take one of my backpacks, it holds more than it looks like. I've used it a couple times and my stationery, like my staple hair clip just in case. I don't have a hair tie. I don't even want to get into makeup right now, but I have so much of it. I guess we could. Oh, before I get into makeup. I talked about last time. I got the Ariel bow. There's the button. There it is. There is the button. And now my bow collection is officially complete. And then I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the light up ones actually have the signature of each princess on the top and then you see the cute little fork so I love it yay now I can hang it with the rest of my collection someday I'll do a haul haul collection tour of the Disney bows and this is not new but this is the NYX sorry about the glare this is the NYX lipstick collection that I talked about that I got off eBay um, this is the one that comes with the matching lip liner, so that's pretty cool. So that's one of my go-tos right now. I wish I could show you. Oh, wait. Oh, yep, we're avoiding the ring light. There we go. There we go. But yeah, it's a great collection. If you do want it, it is about $44 on eBay right now. So, But yeah, this is one of my go-tos. It has great colors. It has great staying power. I love NYX anything. So that's probably as much as I'm going to do into makeup because... I think this is just going to be a different haul. Yeah. <laughs> and an awkward live. I said it right this time. If you did not see my last video, you did win the giveaway of my last makeup palette. So please DM me. Do not forget, if you are watching this, to somehow contact me. Instagram, uh, YouTube, comment down below, something, you know, just let me know how to get a hold of you so I can get this eyeshadow palette to you. And eventually I will have another giveaway for you guys, all your followers. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, like I said, I wanted to get that haul out of the way. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen and not looking at you guys. I have eye contact. I'm not rude. Hello. Uh, I wanted to do a closet tour because I just recently reorganized it. So I wanted to put this stuff away and show you other stuff. Because a lot of people have been asking about my closet and they want me to do Disney bound tours and or tours, outfits of the day, stuff like that. And I want to just like get away from the halls, even though a lot of people are like, where do you get your cool stuff? So I want to kind of do like a walkthrough and be like, this is where I found this. And this is how you can shop for really, really cheap. Or this is how you can sew this for really cheap and you don't have to have any sewing knowledge. I can guide you through it. I kind of want to get into that. So Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell down below. I miss you guys so much. I look forward to recording. I'm really loving this new camera and this new setup. I think it looks great. So far, so good. Pixie out.